I don't know if you can sense a question in that, but it has a lot to do with the drive to why you write and um, you know when you knew you were going to be a writer and things like that. I was afraid he was going to ask where you get your ideas from. <laughs> <laughs> You know, from that story, it sounds like a, I'm sorry to have such a horrible childhood. I'm just thinking, probably my brothers and sisters should be better writers than I am because, you know, I was the one, as, as you've attended my lectures before, my goal was to make my brothers and sisters cry, wet their bed, and cause psychological permanent scars. They should be brilliant writers. But, you know, that's my upbringing was, you know, I was as I would describe before, but three brothers and three sisters. They were uh, my earliest victims. I always was the storyteller of the family, what my mom called the liar of the family. <laughs> um, I told you last year the story about the ventriloquist doll, didn't I? Yeah. I didn't? What did I say about Laura Carey last time? I can't remember what it was. You can't keep straight. I can't keep straight. Do I hear the ventriloquist story? One of my yeah. earliest storytelling yeah. stories? Okay. Some people have heard that before you put your heads down to rest. <laughs> um, I was 11 years old, and I was sharing uh, my bedroom with my brother Chuck. He was nine years old, two years younger than me. And one year I got a ventriloquist doll for Christmas, a uh, Charlie, Charlie McCarthy doll, uh, which in and of itself is creepy enough. Um, <laughs> but I thought I was going to be the world's best ventriloquist. I was going to learn to throw my voice and, and, and to what fun I could have with that. Uh, well, that lasted for about two minutes. I realized that was too, way too hard, or I could actually have to work towards that, and I like to move my lips when I talk. <laughs> so I gave that up pretty quickly, um, but I still have the doll. So when I'm looking at the doll, I'm looking at my brother Chuck, I'm looking at the doll, I'm looking at the doll, sort of get a, an idea begins to formulate. So I get my copy of Lord of the Rings, and I flip to the back, and the back of Lord of the Rings is a bunch of runes and uh, elvish script back there. So I get a sheet of paper, and I, and I copy a bunch of runes, Nordic runes across there. Crumple up the sheet of paper, burn the edges with a match, fold it up, and tuck it in, in the pocket of the doll. Later on, I'm Chuck's you know, fiddling with the doll. I'm saying, Chuck, Chuck, I think I see something in the pocket of the doll. Can you check that out? Is something in the pocket of the doll? Let me check. There is. There's something, there's something in the pocket of the doll. Okay, take it out. Takes it out and wraps it. It's a paper. It's all old. It's weird writing on it, Jim. Let me see. Urias, this looks really old. Almost, almost ancient. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, Chuck, I, I think I recognize this writing. I think, I think I know what this is. You do? Yeah, I'm just hang on a second. So I got my copy of Lord of the Rings. <laughs> I flipped to the back. Look, it's the same writing. It is, yeah. You know, Chuck, I think I can translate it. <laughs> 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 A secret to a treasure. Do you want me to translate? Yeah, yeah. Okay, hang on. The first word is coming clear. Beware. Uh oh. Chuck, should I, should I keep on going? Yeah. All right. Work a little bit longer. Beware. After midnight. I rise and hunt for blood. <laughs> Jim, do you think that's real? Looks real, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, well, you know, let's, let's just play it. Let's, let's play it safe. Let's, let, first of all, let's put that thing back in the pocket so the doll doesn't know we read it. <laughs> let's make sure before we go to bed each night that that doll is locked up in the closet. So I just reinforce that for a few weeks. So Chuck is the doll in the closet? I think so. Can you make sure? Okay. Chuck is the doll in the closet. Did you close the door so it clicked? All the way. Because we don't want it rising and pushing pushing through and getting to us. Reinforce that about three weeks into the into the uh, reinforcement. I, and then the fun begins. <laughs> you get up at two o'clock in the morning, take the doll out of the closet, put it underneath my brother's blankets. <laughs> Some brave soul in the audience. You still have a doll? You've been here before. Yeah. You still have a doll? 
I just know it. The, I don't know ever what happened to the doll. It disappeared when I was in St. Louis, and to this Check day, to today I'm still expecting it to show up somewhere. <laughs> yeah, then I'm going to buy a Charlie McCarthy doll and just lean it on its front doorstep. <laughs> Ding dong, and run. <laughs> ah! I bet you I can still get into what is bad. <laughs>